In Thursday's episode of Days of Our Lives, Tate Black's visit to a juvenile rehab center unsettles his parents, Brady Black and Teresa Donovan. Teresa worries about Tate's facade of improvement, while Brady's letter receives a cold reception, hinting at deeper issues. Meanwhile, Ava Vitali grows more concerned over Trip Johnson's disappearance, possibly linking it to Clyde Weston. Fans anticipate Ava's revelation to Ray Fernandez about her dealings with Harris Michaels and Clyde's blackmail. Trip and Wendy Shin realize they've been duped into kidnapping. Jada Hunter confronts Everett Lynch about his identity, urging Stephanie Johnson to flee. Steve Johnson's discoveries about Everett slash Bobby set the stage for Stephanie's future struggles. Additionally, the return of Teresa and Brady's son, Tate, introduces new tensions amidst Holly's overdose fallout. The homage to Bill Hayes in a special episode honors Doug's character and legacy, prompting speculation about Hayes' final appearance. Despite Hayes' passing, Doug's storyline will continue, offering fans more of Doug and Julie's untold tales. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Thursday, February 22, Brady and Teresa's unsettling Tate visit, Steve discovers Bobby proof. According to teasers for Thursday, February 22's episode of Days of Our Lives, Tate Black's visit to his juvenile rehab center is supposed to be a nightmare for Brady Black and Teresa Donovan rather than a means of raising his spirits. Teresa said that she was worried about Tate acting as though he was doing better than he truly was. Tate is obviously dealing with some difficult issues that will need to be handled, as evidenced by the icy tone with which he sent Brady's letter. Not sure whether this Tate reunion will go as planned, as Brady and Teresa will still feel that they need to make amends after their visit. According to teasers for other days, Ava Vitali's concern over Trip Johnson's disappearance will only increase. Since Wendy Shin is also missing, Ava might conclude that Clyde Weston is responsible for the two kidnappings. Fans of Days should anticipate a major revelation from Ava on Thursday's episode as she tries to get Trip and Wendy out of their nightmare. By telling Ray Fernandez about her arrangement with Harris Michaels, Ava will be taking a chance, thus it should also include disclosing Clyde's blackmail and all the mob drama she's been involved in. Trip and Wendy will learn that Officer Goldman tricked them into believing they were following Rafe's instructions and traveling to a safe place. When Trip and Wendy discover they've truly been kidnapped, they'll go into a panic and try to figure out how to get out of this situation. Jada Hunter will continue to press Everett Lynch to acknowledge that he is Bobby Stein while providing additional evidence of their previous union. Naturally, Everett will maintain his position and pretend that Jada is the one with the delusions for insisting so strongly that he is her ex-husband. Jada will become even more enraged about it and tell Stephanie Johnson to flee before Everett destroys her heart. According to Day's teasers, Stephanie and Steve Johnson are expected to meet on Thursday's episode of Days of Our Lives. This is expected to reveal additional information linking Everett to Bobby's birth certificate and other records. Steve will present his findings about Everett and persuasively argue that Jada is correct that Bobby is the same person. Stay tuned for updates on how all the Bobby news will affect Stephanie's future because spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that she will feel completely overwhelmed by all this crazy stuff. Days of Our Lives, a legacy the character returns home, but not to himself. Teresa and Brady's son, Tate, will be returning to the Days of Our Lives canvas shortly, if you haven't been following the story. After Holly's overdose, actor Jamie Martin Mann will return to the scene starting on Thursday, February 22 when his parents pay him a visit. For those who require a summary of the events leading up to Tate's apprehension, Holly gave Tate some pills on New Year's Eve, and that was when it all started. She persisted, telling him that they were only ADHD medications and that everyone was taking them, 
even though he refused to take them and reminded her that his parents had previously been addicted. Tate left the celebration, but he saw Holly unconscious and gaunt in a rear alleyway. Tate was promptly held accountable for Holly's overdose, and Rafe told EJ they didn't have enough evidence to put Tate under arrest when EJ asked that he be taken into custody. But EJ would not give up, and in the end, Brady admitted responsibility and said the narcotics belonged to him in an effort to shield his son. Tate gave himself in, but he refused to allow his father get away with it, not even for something Tate didn't commit. Next week, Brady and Teresa travel to the halfway home where Tate is committed for a crime he did not commit while Nicole and EJ attempt to shield Holly, who is curious about how she came to be in a coma. Watch this space to see how the parents of the adolescents handle the information that comes to light when the truth comes to light. The poignant tribute to Bill Hayes was paid in the Days of Our Lives special episode, but is Doug's story coming to an end? Even though it has been difficult to watch the Horton home turn to ash and debris on Days of Our Lives, this is the most exquisite homage to the Hortons that we could have asked for at the exact moment we need it. The show threw in a ton of flashbacks from Tom and Alice Horton's past on Wednesday, February 21st, as Doug and Julie took in what was left of their cherished house. Some were performers recreating young versions of Tom and Alice that we never got to witness, and some were sequences from earlier episodes of Days of Our Lives. Towards the conclusion of the episode, the program honored Bill Hayes, in loving memory, by quoting Hamlet, Good night, sweet prince, and flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Legend on stage and screen Hayes passed away only a month ago, but we probably won't see Doug say goodbye until the show's summer filming schedule catches up with reality. However, it makes sense as Doug doesn't appear on our screens very frequently these days, so the memorial made us, and we're sure a lot of fans, question whether this was the final episode Hayes was able to tape before passing away. We asked that same question directly to Days of Our Lives, and a representative for the program informed us that Hayes and Doug's last episode won't run for a few months, they simply wanted to do something special in his honor. They couldn't have chosen a better episode, to be honest. Thank you for loving this lovable cast, Susan Seaforth Hayes wrote beside a behind-the-scenes photo from today's show on the Instagram account she shared with her late husband. As performers and fans alike, we are a family. Moving on to our own stories, shall we? Thus, don't panic just yet. Doug will remain for a short while even though we had to bid farewell to his amazing portrayer. Furthermore, as Seaforth Hayes mentioned, there are still untold stories regarding Doug and Julie. To get through them, we'll just need to make sure we have lots of tissues on hand. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.